sorry i'm after doing the part three so anyway carrying on from part two basically i basically said look i'm in a lot of pay pain and why should i go to the police anyway but after having the, the conversation i'm not going to go into what it was because that's between me and my true friend um, after having the conversation with him, he made me realise, hang on a minute, and I, then I started to realise, like, look, ever since I was diagnosed with cancer, he was one of the first people I told, and ever since has been there for me, so I'm, like, starting to, like, realise a lot of things, and um, basically, I... We both convinced me to not go to the police station and I didn't go. And basically, I've been accused of going to the police station, grasping up my friend and never went. Because I know for a fact, because on that day when I was supposed to have went, I was in bed all day, in so much pain, couldn't get out of bed. I found up my... True friend said, look, I haven't been to the police station. It's all good. And he was happy. And then... And then somebody else got involved and said, like... Oh, uh, people are having you over here. This shouldn't be happening to you. You're a good person. Blah, 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 blah. Which was a load of bollocks because I've never been had over. I'm not going to... I've not been had over and I'm not going to be had over. So we'll just leave that as that and then one minute they're saying to me oh we don't like this person because they what they've done to you they haven't done nothing to me so how why can why don't you why don't you like the person when they haven't done anything wrong that's what i don't get and then yet when the, when they were talking to each other oh all nice as pie i don't like people at that way like they like go one minute oh i don't like him and then next minute up their ass and like Talking to him, like, thinking everything's going to be okay. Like, I don't like trouble. That's me. I just don't like trouble. And I don't like arguments. Because it'll stress me out and affect me in so many ways. So, basically, after all that malarkey, um, day before I was going home, I get a phone call from the hospital to say, Look, your cancer's spread. And I wasn't happy about it because I was under a lot of stress from everybody slagging me off saying all these things. This is like other people, not my true friend, other people. Um, and then I got like really, really distressed. So I, I went to the bars and said goodbye to everybody and stuff like that. And then I said to one of the mates, I couldn't even... I couldn't even this is how bad it was, right? I couldn't even touch my beer. That's how bad it was. Um, so, told my friend Rich and that, uh, look, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to the apartment. I just don't feel right at all. This was when I had the meal at Fardo Rock, which I really enjoyed. They ended up having it the meal, and then. Basically, someone that was supposed to be my friend goes, you're all right? And I said, no, no, just got some bad news. Why, what was it? And proceeds to tell her. Then when it gets back to the apartment, the same girl gives me a hype of abuse going, I, I don't believe you, blah, 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 blah. I went, well, look, hospitals phoned me up, told me straight. And then also as well during that time i had to change my number because of all these threats from these people slagging me off saying i'm this that and other i'm this bad person and so i had to change my number anyway so get home and just so you know right from the end of september i have not touched one of these not touched the normal cigarette since the end of september well, gets to go to the hospital to the, for the chemo. Listen, well, I can't really discuss everything in it. Um, but basically, they said, we have to stop your chemo and give me a bit of good news. And I was like, oh, cool. I was like, I didn't expect this. 
And then he told me something else and I was like, what? I had no clue what was going on. I'm not going to reveal it, only a few people know what I'm, but I did get, um, six weeks later, something bad came from it. So anyway, after the, after the six weeks, because I'm, I'm having trouble over that anyway, and I can't really discuss it, because it's now gone f to a solicitor. So anyway, it's not like, um, bad against somebody, it's just against the hospital over something. That's all it is. Um, so basically, after all that happened, getting that little bit of good news, um, during that time, my true friend gave me some more good news, and I was like, yes, this has like made my year. Uh, well, I'm not going to say nothing, but I've had loads of pictures and seen everything. It's like, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for him, and just over the moon for him and stuff like that. Um, so anyway... Once after my bad news, um, I basically get a call from the hospital. Can you come in, please? We've got something we want to tell you. Um, it actually concerns this. Um, so I was like, yeah, yeah, what's it all about? Um, we are going to give you some medication, but we want you to try this out as an experiment. And I went, why? He went, well, we think you're a good candidate for the, the THC. But I've all, I had the the hemp with the oil and you put it under your tongue and I, it didn't really agree with me, but this has. So I've used this now about, I think it's like seven weeks, six, seven weeks I've been using this. And I can tell you right now, since being on this and they've changed my tablet a little bit more onto something else, I'm now 20% clear the cancer just by changing the medication not going to any chemo sessions and using this I was like what? wow so like blown away and like to have like a shit year and then to be told good news from your true friend which is so really nice and then to find out a couple of weeks ago, you're now 20% clear of cancer. I, I know I've still got the 80% to go, but in six weeks, 20% just by changing medication and using this. I'm like, whoa, this is like so good news. But the only other news I've had from the doctor is... They had to stop my calcium tablets. Now, I'm on a treat due to having gastric bypass surgery and I needed it, and I have brittle, brittle bone disease. So now they've stopped that to sort out the um, kidney stone. And I've only got one kidney as, as it is. And all of this crap going on. And then I find out as well the end of november i am not producing a certain hormone in my body and i've got to take hormone tablets for three months i'm on my second month now and it's going really well and, and i'm noticing little things and starting to feel get more back myself and then but I did also forget to say, say to you guys, uh, I did have a family holiday with uh, my husband, Pedro, and my daughter, Tori. We went to Malta for a week in October, and even though I was bad certain days, I still got to go out on a mobility scooter, go on a boat ride, um, use crutches, go on a bus, take my daughter to shops to spoil her, and get a few bits for Christmas and we bought a few new bits and yeah but like I will say this even though I've had a bad year I'd say there have been some little bits that have been really really good and it's all been like coming close to the end of this year and I'm like so happy that 
finally something's happening good for me for a change and i will end on this um i'm not gonna say where i'm going but a couple of people know where i'm going but i don't want to reveal it um <laughs> on youtube but i'm going away in a few weeks um as i say i haven't been away since october and i just if you don't know me right i have to get away quite a lot of the time just to just recharge my batteries see my friends and just make sure everything's okay and i'm so excited because i've only passed this destination by car i've never actually been to this destination i've heard i've heard good things about it i've heard bad things about it i've heard that it's the major one of the major pickpockets and places in europe and i'm like well i lived in benidorm and that was worse than apparently where i'm going to but i know i'm going to be safe um with people that i know and i'm going to be dead happy of but my hotel i've had that was the drama about the hotel <laughs> that was drama um but i'm just gonna have a nice relaxing week because most people when they go to this destination they only stay for like three four days maybe five i'm going for a week <laughs> and then oh i just don't know what the future is going to hold for me but all i will tell you this year next for my new year's resolutions and i'm not really going to make any new year's resolutions as such but i'm going to plan um but one of me one of my plans is um I want to visit 40 different countries by the time I'm 40. I've only got three to go. Three countries. And next year I've possibly pl plan on here to do maybe at least one. Might be doing two. But I'm just going to like look into it. But this is like for like later on in like the summer. And it's like, I've been thinking about going to this place for like four, three, four years. I think it's ever since I've seen like um, the Med Sailor trips that um, Brogan Tate XO, she's a YouTuber as well. She does, she was on these Med Sailor trips and one of the destinations is where I'd like to go, but I'm going to like proper plan on it. But I'm not going to like say much more, but. I have have like a little plan in place but I need to talk to somebody in order for like to do the plan in place but it is something to do with like going away and having little vacations and doing little stuff and doing exciting stuff so anyway that was my year in review <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the video uh, in three parts I know like comment subscribe all that jazz turn that notification on bell on and you'll get a brand new video from me if and when I can so yeah happy new year everybody um stay gory and have unpleasant dreams and I'll see you soon tata -ta for now bye